Hey there guys, Joseph Mario, welcome back to another video. Today, um, like, uh, ignore whatever just happened there, just special wallpaper stuff. Anyway, so, um, I haven't uploaded in a while, haven't had much to re record really in a while, but now I do. And also, thanks for 800 subscribers guys, because that's super awesome, thanks. We're almost at a thousand, that'll be super awesome. So yeah. Anyway, um, so... Um, a, um, Twitter user, Herma Plays, I think that's right, um, um, so a while ago, for 1.2.6 beta, he found out how to, uh, well, I don't know if it's him, but that's where I first saw it, um, he showed, oh no, he didn't even show, he, yeah, he showed it, but, um, he showed a picture of, um, like a 3D Santa hat thing, but, um, so when 1.2.6 came out, I went ahead and went testing with it, and... Well, basically, it allows you to put a custom model on your head, but only your head. And it's not really custom skins, it's kind of more of a pack. You'll see what I mean. So let's get into it, so you can see what I mean. Uh, well, without having to wait 50 minutes. So yeah, first thing you want to do is go ahead and just download the pack in the description. That'll just be 3D head template.mc pack. Go ahead and just run it, and then it'll load up Minecraft. And then so just wait for Minecraft to load it up. Once it loads up, and it says successfully imported 3D head template, you can go ahead and just close down Minecraft Pocket Edition or Windows 10, whatever you're using. Um, I don't think this is going to be more difficult on iOS, and I have no idea, so I'm sorry. So, so go to your Minecraft folder, that'd be games, com.mojing, resource packs, um, and then 3D head temp. If you're on Windows 10, there'll be a bunch of extra stuff back to, before that, your, um, your PC user, um, name whatever it is, um, then I won't explain it. It'll be in the description or in the subtitles, one of the two. Unless you're watching this right as I, um, right as it's uploading, in which case it might not actually be there. But yeah, we, um, there'll be a pack icon here for you, but I haven't, as of recording this, I haven't got that yet. So yeah, we can go ahead, we've got textures of heads, and also a mob.json file. What this is, is it's basically a model for the head, Mob head, it only, um, so yeah, um, it's slightly modified, so that way when you put it on, it doesn't look like you're big headed. It looks like normal. So yeah. It's similar, it's basically just like 3D custom skins, but severely limited, and you can't really do it in other people's worlds. You can't do it on servers, that's for sure. And you can do this in other people's worlds, but they won't be able to see it. You'll, if, if you can get your hands on a mob head anyway, but they still won't be able to see it. Um, so it's only good for, like, your world. But yeah, this can be used for, like, just making cool skins. Like, you can remake the Creeper, Party Creeper, or, like, what is it? Um, or you can make super cool 3D armor. But yeah, modeling, I'm not going to exactly show you. I'm going to show you a quick little demonstration. Um, actually, I'll copy that. This, the proportions are slightly off, but that's because, um, inflate, um, kind of makes it weird. It's another problem with this. But yeah, the only way to get good at modeling with, um, with this is really to just test around with it. So to add another model, like I just showed, go ahead and copy um, this up here. Highlight it. Click copy. I guess I'm showing this off twice. Yeah. Hang on, let's go back. And then, so it'll be like this. Yeah, you copy this up here. Come down to the last one. Put a comma. Press enter. And then hold and then press paste. And then make sure there's no comma there. And then you can go ahead and change this. Like, let's see. I'm going to do something. What should I do? Okay, so I've decided I'm just going to do the hat. Top hat. So I'm not going to do this on camera. I'll just explain these. Origin is the position of the box. Size is the, well, size of a box. UV is w w the texture location. Inflate is how much bigger the model is made. Um, so I shrunk it down so it'd be the same size as a normal head. Mirror, oh come on, mi mirror. Kind of self-explanatory. If it's set to true, then the texture will be reversed. Yeah, so I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Um, so what I did was I put in... Um, well, I edited a tiny bit. I got, um, put in the top hat from the last 
video I showed of 3D custom skins on Pocket Edition. Um, well, the one of the tutorial that was really long. So I made the same top hat. You can go ahead and just copy all this if you want to do it yourself. Um, but I still have to do the texture, so let me go ahead and save. Just like that. And then, so, um, I want to go over to here. And I'll leave, um, quick edit and also, um, ISO pics in the description. Yes, I'm using the pro version. Uh, ignore this. Um, so yeah, let me just go to resource packs. So yeah, and then you want to go ahead and replace it. I'll be using my, my skin. So I'll just use this one. So yeah, and then so what I want to do is I want to, so we can go over here. Oh, nope, go, come on, quick edit. So, um, I guess I'll explain the UV. So as we can see here, in fact, I'll actually explain this with the head. So, you see the head, it's, um, each face of the, of the cube is 8 by 8. Each, all of the six faces are 8 by 8 pic Minecraft pixels, what I'm calling them. As we can see, 8, so what that would mean, X would be, um, this ways, and also this way for this square. Um, so yeah, um, Y will be up and down for, th um, this, 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 and this square, or face. And then, so, Z, that means this direction for this square and also this square. But it's also, oh, wait, I messed up. It, um, this is up and down for this square right here. I guess to do X again. X is, oops, um, X is left and right for this square and this square. Okay. Okay, so I just went ahead and, um, well, did it myself because I'm not going to explain exactly how. The only way to get good at this is to mess around with it until you get it, okay? In fact, um, if, like, what I'd do if you're starting out is in this area, um, don't know why I decided to do great detail. Um, so in this area, this general, oops, this general area is where it will be. So if you're starting out, then you can go ahead and make a box over here and just like this whole down here area, um, will be where it is. But one thing you gotta say before, let me just do all this. There you go. This will be the general area, so this will for sure be ho hovering up the uh, hat. But one thing um, to be to note of is this area is the head. You can go in between here and here, but one thing to note is that also the hat layer is available. So where the second zombie head is, don't highlight there, but you can highlight in between here and here. Don't know why it suddenly became green, because green's not a creative color. All right, so there we go. Go ahead and save that, and I'll go quickly just to show you what it looks like. Um, kind of stuck. Okay, there we go. Once you're back into the game, we're back into Minecraft. You want to go ahead and get yourself 3D head template. Get that out of the way. Fix that. There we go. So now, if I go to play. I'm just going to load up some random world. This will work. Be right back. Okay, so depending on which, um, depending on which, what's it called, which, um, texture you replaced during the, um, for earlier, if you replaced zomb replace zombie skeleton, creeper, wither skeleton, depending on which one you replaced, you want to get that certain mob head. You can only replace this, um, these four. You, um, I tried adding the zomb, the, Dragon head and it kind of glitched out and you can't replace the Steve as far as I can tell at all. So I replaced the Steve one. So as we can see, no, I hate the freaking new um, how to play button. But anyway, as we can see, we've retextured the um, no remodeled the head for this. But that also means we can go ahead and put it on our head. And we yeah, we we got a little top hat. Pretty cool. The only, one flaw with this, which I'll show you a rook around, which kind of sucks for iOS users is um um for whatever reason um when you put this on like if like if you don't put anything there the head will disappear of your character in fact if I go ahead and try and do that and I go over to 
some random skin, you know. What? Gee, wow. You can okay, you know what? Yeah, we go like this skin. Um, I still have. Wait. Hmm. That's not how it was originally. Or maybe it's. I don't even know what's up. But yeah, what ha what's what happened with me earlier? Maybe. But, um. Yeah, as we can see, I am now a zombie head. Don't know what happened. But oh, it's because it's smaller. Oh, keep that in mind um, when you're playing with overlays. Okay, good to know. But yeah, as we can see, we've got the zombie head, so you have to replace it with your skin for it to work properly. So, yeah. But, so let's say we want to, like, I see I made my own version of the Santa hat one. So we can see with a screenshot. Or that's the pack icon. Um, so, if you are doing something like this, um, I recommend you, re you remove the head. Then make one called custom.png. And I'll show you why the Steve is unnecessary. I'm gonna get rid of it. Bam. So yeah, what you wanna do is then get a skin. Luckily, I got a skin. And so just copy it over. I guess just like that. And one thing I didn't realize in the last episode is in ISO picks image. Um, if this thing will get out of the way. Um, something I've got get out of the way. Uh, you know what? Fine. So as we can see, paste image from another dot dot. It's supposed to say image. Um, that only works in the pro version. So I'll be linking a different app in the description. It's not as good, but it does what we need perfectly. It's literally called image editor. And yeah, you can see. I didn't even push that. You can see that we did that earlier. But yeah, let me. If you want to go ahead and open up image, um, don't go to Dropbox. Stop opening everything else. God. Okay, so anyway, go to um go to where your image is. Or go to the pack Santa hat. I I this isn't his, I actually made my own version, but so go ahead and edit whatever your skin thing. So yeah, where is it? So what you want to do is go on the plus, go to paste. Oh wait, no. It's the plus image paste from file. That's what it is. Then go and get custom.png and then it'll just nicely place over this. Or oh, okay. That saved it I guess. But I guess that's how you save it but as we can see here. Okay, never mind, that's not that bear back. Okay, for whatever reason, that app likes to be really annoying. If you're on PC, you can use Paint on it. It's so much easier. But apparently, that saved it to Image Editor, and it's saved here. I know, it's annoying. Very, very annoying. So yeah, go ahead and get that. So now we have this. And then whichever one you want to replace, I choose to replace Wither Skeleton. Go ahead and delete that, and then just rename it on top of whatever you replaced it with. Just like that. Don't know what... what Okay, the I was gonna say, if you're on mo if you're on Android, then you'll know you'll do it right because it'll go back into whatever it was before, but it'll stay as this. Um, so yeah, had to make a quick adjustment. There we go. So then, oh, crap. So then, what you want to do here is, um, oh, um, what you want to do is you want to go ahead find wherever that skin you just edited was. Oh, that'd be. Back here. Oh, okay, glitchiness. Okay, you know what? So you want to open up ISO pics and then go to wherever that image was. Oh, no, just... Yeah, go to wherever that skin was. Um, the one I'm using, pictures, and then this. And just discover this. Um, you want to go ahead and erase overlay, or else it'll look pretty strange. Come over here and erase this. And then save, and I recommend you save it... Like as a backup, so like, um, no hat overlay, something like that. There we go. Then you go ahead and close those. Go into Minecraft. All right. So once you're in Minecraft, go to the custom skins and then find that skin you used. Which, luckily, well, um, it's probably not it. It's probably have the overlay. So yeah, go in here and yep, it's got the overlay. <sighs> 
Why do they make it so you use your stupid crappy built-in image viewer to find the freaking picture? Jeez. Instead of a good one. Very annoying. Because you guys saw there was a second one. Hang on, I'll bear it back. Okay, there we go. Find the one that doesn't have the overlay, and assuming your crappy built-in photo editor, no photo viewer, will let you do it. Or if you want Windows 10, it'll be much easier. Just select it so it doesn't have the overlay. Looks kind of weird. But yeah, go ahead and go into any world. But yeah, as you guys saw earlier, what is it? Yeah, as you, like I said, like you guys saw earlier with image editor, um, it doesn't. It just uses um, ES File Explorer instead of my crappy built-in photo viewer. Anyway, be right back. Uh, what, what would an Ultimate Mario video be without me complaining about something that's really stupid? Anyway, so once you're in, go ahead and take that off because I was from earlier. So yeah. Oh, almost forgot. So yeah, there's more lo more loading, but you know what? I'm not going to... I'm just going to sit through this one. This, is, this one's not as long. Completely forgot. So... Um, don't forget save to a resource pack. It's not a skin, so he doesn't just doesn't just ma magically work. So yeah, make sure you go and find. So for this one, it'll be Santa Hat skins. Go ahead and get that. Then if I load this up, BRB again. Okay, I've done it right this time. All right, so. See the Wither Skeleton Skull? That's the one I replaced it with. That's the one I replaced it with earlier. So yeah. It's got the overlay. So I go ahead. Pop this on. And cool freaking stop. There we go. So as we can see, we've got our crazy Nanlego Pro skin. Um, the image editor could only do the whole thing. But yeah. But as you can see, we've got the Santa hat. I'll go ahead and... Go to settings, and I'll go on the backwards for first printry for you guys to see. But anyway, if you guys like this video, go ahead and leave it a like. Because you liked it. Makes sense you like it. Um, that's what it's for. And subscribe if you liked it, because then that means I should make more of this stuff. Just like all those other 800 people. They're awesome. And if you're one of those, you know you've done good. Thank you. But yeah. Anyway, this part, the videos I um, I've been saying they've I'm gonna stop rambling. It's probably been on for a while. The video has been recording for a while. Yeah. So anyway, see you guys next time. Bye.